So, chemical reactions was the request. Okay? There's one thing that you have to do with every chemical reaction. Does anyone want to take a guess what that would be? You have to balance each and every chemical reaction. Okay? That is a given. Okay? But you don't always have to classify each one. But, so, we can do two concepts into one. In other words, okay, now, the, the request was to do this, so I highly recommend that you write this down. Because it's, I don't want to be like I told other students. I said, some people just like talking just so they can hear their voice. I am not one of them. Okay? So what I mean is this is your time. Now, I realize it's a little bunched up, but we're running out of space. We want to save this content so we can keep track of where we are, where we've been, and where we're going. So then, first, first thought, what type of reaction might that be? It's a synthesis reaction, okay? And you are correct, but how did you know that so you can explain to your classmates? You're, you're right. You have two different compounds on the left and one that's not. Yeah, so what Hannah is saying is that we have an element and a molecule combined to form a compound. So what that means is you correctly identified this as a synthesis reaction. So the simple, simple, the symbol for strontium is what? You may need your table for this. It's, it's in column two. Okay, so it is SR. Okay, then we're adding some chlorine to that. So what is the symbol for chlorine? Okay, now. Why is that, that two has to be there? Why is that? Because it's diatomic. Okay. Then, do we notice anything different between this and this? Notice it doesn't say strontium chlorine. Does anyone think they might know why that is? Because here... This is just a molecule we said earlier. Now we're making a compound over here. And when that happens, when chlorine forms an ion, its ion form is called chloride. Okay? So that's what that means. Okay. So we need to know the charge of strontium. And you, you can tell that by where it's located on the periodic table. You're correct when you said plus 2. Okay? What is, this is neutral, but we'll just go ahead and put the charge on here for when it does become an ion over there. What would the chloride ion have? Negative one, okay? Now, this is still the same, and now it's an ion. The charges do not change, okay? But those charges have to add up to what? They have to add up to zero. Okay? So the least common multiple between one and two is what? It is two. So then some of you, if you continue to choose to do this, there's nothing wrong with that. The answer that you get tells you what to put down below. Okay? 
because this doesn't always go over there as a 2. In this case, it does. Does anyone think they might know why? Yeah, because if we divide 2 by 2, we get what? Okay, we've got 1. We divide 2 by 1, we get... Okay. So, as we look at that, we said every reaction has to be balanced. Did anything change? In other words, when you would do these exercises, you probably have three blanks over there. There's ones in front of each one of these compounds and molecules. Did anything change? No. So you would do that. It's just one, one, and one. Okay. Now, the reason that's significant is because what would happen if we want an element you choose, plus one or plus three? Okay. So the, the simplest way to find an element with a plus three charge would be in which column of the periodic table? I think you said it, but I just didn't quite hear it. <coughs> okay, so what is an element in column three? Maybe I've heard it. I don't know if someone said it. Boron is one. Are you limited to boron? No. What other elements could you use that are in column three? There's aluminum. There's also gallium and dolium and thallium. So you pick boron or aluminum. Okay. So the choice was aluminum. So we're going to react aluminum and we're going to add that to some chlorine. We can't just do the same presumption and do this. Okay? If you understand why that is incorrect, you are well on your way to understanding this. If you need to put the charges in, there's nothing wrong with that. Because you correctly identified saying, since this is in column three, what is the charge of that aluminum? Plus three. Okay, if this was negative one in this reaction, it's going to be negative one down here as well. And then once we get over to this side, we don't just automatically carry that little subscript of two. We needed that over here to balance out the compound. So we do the same thing, plus three minus one. What is your least common multiple? Least common multiple is 3. What's 3 divided by 3? 1. 3 divided by 1? Okay, so that's why we can't, if we have to finish a reaction, we just can't look at these subscripts and say, well, that 2 is going to go over here automatically. Sometimes it does. Here's an exception to that. But we needed that two in this top reaction to balance out the compound. For this one, we also did that, but now we're putting a three there instead of a two. Then the last thing to do would be to balance this, okay? So if these chlorines or chloride ions are odd, how do you get that to an even number? Or do you like writing out the elements below? You tell me. Write them below? Okay, so we've got aluminum, we've got chlorine, okay? Aluminum's left. Aluminum's left. Aluminum's left. Aluminum's on the left side. One, aluminum's right. Chlorides left. <coughs> Chlorides right. Okay? So since this is an odd number as opposed to this one because these come in pairs, how do we get that up to an even 
number. You, you said multiply, that's correct, but multiply it by what? Mm, I don't know if that'll help. Yeah, but not three. Okay, so if we double this, because that's the only place to start, because aluminum's already balanced. These were odd, this was even, so to get this up to an even number, we double that, but two times one for aluminum is two. It's your new number, two times three. Okay, so we have two aluminums on that side. How many aluminums are over here right now? So we need to get that up to a two. So how do we do that? Place a two there. And then how do we get this up to a six where this one's at? Okay, so once we do that, this becomes 2, this becomes 6, so now everything is balanced. If we had 3 blanks, okay, so those are what we would consider simple reactions. Now, this, this might not be simple. The reason I say simple is because there's just three coefficients. Some of them could be a little tricky. Okay. And, and, and you've heard, heard us discuss this before. For those of you in two years, you may be taking general chemistry. Okay. For probably the better part of five months out of the school year, if, if we struggle with this, it's, it's not going to be fun taking chemistry. It's just not. And that's not myself standing on this side of the desk, desk saying it's going to be horrible for you. It, it's just going to be that. It's just is. So that's why we spend so much time on it. It's such a critical skill to learn. Can we close the door on this? Front row, are we good? Okay. Second row. Third row. Okay. All right. So, can we erase this? Yeah. Okay. So, how about another example? You pick a type of reaction and we'll go forward from there. Combustion reaction, okay? So in any combustion reaction, okay? So here's our choice. It's going to be combustion, okay? So how about we pick out an alkane, something a little more recent, an organic compound. One through ten. Did you say ten? Okay. So, what is a 10 carbon compound that is a hydrocarbon that's also an alkane? Decane. So, if we had decane, that means we've got C10. How many hydrogens do you think? There's one above and one below and on the ends. 22. Okay. Now, is anybody confused with how we got this number? In other words, we can, we can shrink this down. We had C4H10. What that means, there's our four carbons. What we meant, one above, one below. So that gives you 8, 9, and 10. You have to add the ends. So in this case, one above and one below gives you 20. And then you have to add the ends into there. That's where 22 comes from. Okay? So then in any combustion reaction... What does that react with? With oxygen. That's right. Okay. Combustion. Have some oxygen. Oxygen is a gas. It is diatomic. What is the byproduct in every combustion reaction? Always. For, for our levels, it, for those of you who may be going to take college chemistry, it's not always so cut and dry on this side. You may end up with just pure carbon, okay? But we're not 
going that far. You are saying it's CO what? CO2 and then some water. Okay. <coughs> By looking at this, I know we have such big numbers on here. We'll stipulate that. But what is it that you can do to really make things easier for yourself? What is it when we recognize this reaction? Not only is it combustion, but there's, there's something about this reaction that you might want to do right away because it's something that you might recognize. A two has something to do with it. You're correct, but where? In front of the carbon. Now, how and why would you do that? Because that's correct, but why would you put a two here? Because it's even. Because if we had something like this, you would not double that. Because not only because of the numbers of carbons, but what's the difference between these two? They're even and odd. If it is even, you're going to want to double that right away. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and do this because I, I think this was a simple request. Okay, we've got 10 carbons to 1. We've got 22 hydrogens to 2. Then we've got 2 to 3. Now, you correctly said, let's put a 2 here. That gets distributed through the entire compound. So how many carbons is that now? 2 times 10. Okay. And then for hydrogens, 2 times 22. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times the other 2 is 4. Okay. Now, I would suggest don't be so concerned about your oxygens yet. Let's finish over here with what we've done. We've got 20 carbons on the left, but only one here. So what would we put here? Put a 20 there. So now we've got 20 carbons. Okay. Now for these oxygens, 20 times 2. Okay. We've got 40. And don't forget this one. 41. Now. This is where we would recommend don't, don't worry about our oxygens yet. Let's, let's look at our hydrogens. Okay, we got 44 to 2. So how do we get 44 hydrogens on this side? If we multiply by 22, that would now give us 44, which is what we want. We're getting closer. So now we can look at our oxygens. Okay, so 20 times 2, 22 times 1, 22. okay, that gives us 62 oxygens. Okay, so we've got 62 on the right and only 2 on the left. How do we get this up to a 62? Okay. In other words, what is what is six divided by two? What is two divided by two? Okay, so that must mean we need a thirty-one there. Thirty-one times two would give you. I did the the uh, division, but I didn't do the multiplication, so that. Equation is now balanced. Okay. There's two reactions down. Okay. Any questions on this? 
Okay, and you could probably go back to your notebook. There's maybe not this exact equation, but there's probably some similar to that. Okay. And that when I when I write this board out, I when I'm standing on this side of the table, that I just don't reach over. It just would say review and review for the next couple of days, because remember, next Tuesday and Wednesday, okay. Everyone takes that exam. You have to decide, okay. I have the opportunity to opt out, but that's not everybody. But it's one that, again, you could look at this and say, my, my, I think I'm doing pretty good on this. And then just maybe feel, I think I'll count this. That way you can maybe drop a different class as final. But again, it's, that's not for everybody. So what we mean by that is whether it's shooting a basketball, serving a volleyball, even hitting a softball, sometimes you really don't know how you're going to maybe perform in that athletic event, but oh my, I'm doing quite well in this game, match, whatever. Okay? There again, you might not know until you get started. Okay? Sometimes we do well, sometimes we don't, but that's why we work at this. Okay, there are two reactions down. There's three to go. We've got lots of time yet this week. Do you feel you need a break? Okay, so if you feel so inclined, yesterday was recorded. We recorded this today. We're up to 22 minutes, okay? So if something seems unclear, you have that opportunity to go back and watch, well, why did we put this to here? Why did we do this here? You have that opportunity to go back and view that. Okay, so review again tomorrow, so we'll catch up to you next time.